The built-in Maps application lets you access Google Maps for displaying street maps, street view photos, business locations, bus routes and driving directions, all from one easy to use app. Let's get started. Tap on the Maps icon, the Maps app will load showing you a standard street map. If you have the 3G version of the iPad, which has a GPS built in, you can tap on the arrow button to have the map center on your current location. The blue dot is where the iPad thinks you are. The light blue circle around the dot means in reality you could actually be anywhere inside that circle. The Wi-Fi only iPad doesn't have GPS built in, however Google has located many of the Wi-Fi access points in many cities. So if you're lucky enough to be connected to one they've mapped, then the arrow will find your location but with limited accuracy. Tap and drag on the map to scroll the view. Pinch two fingers together to zoom the map out. Spread two fingers apart to zoom in. These are all the same gestures you use in Safari and the Photos app to do similar tasks. If you want to view a map not at your current location, you can use the search box in the top right to type in the location. Try use the format street, city, state. You can try just using the street name and most times the Maps app is smart enough to know your current location but adding the city and state makes it much more certain to find the correct location. In the bottom corner of the map are some further options hidden behind what looks like a curled page in a book. Tap on the curl and you can change the map to satellite, which displays the map using satellite photos. Tapping on hybrid shows satellite photos but still has street names displayed as well. Tapping on terrain shows the map with topographic information turned on. Tap back on standard, then turn on the traffic overlay by tapping it. For cities where Google have traffic information, this will display real-time traffic congestion levels on the map. Green means the road is not congested, through to red meaning it's heavily congested. Tapping on the drop pin button will drop a movable pin at the center of the current map view. Tap and drag on the pin to move it around the map to the point you're interested in. Tap on the blue eye button on the pin to find out further information about this spot, including the actual street address and phone number if it's a business. You can also use this as a way of setting either your start or end point for directions by tapping the Directions to Here or Directions From Here button. The Add to Contacts button lets you add the street address listed to an existing or new contact in your Contacts app. Tapping anywhere back on the map hides the pin information. Tapping back on the pin, you'll see an orange person button to the left. This indicates that the location the pin has been dropped has street view available. Tap on the orange button and your view will switch to a 360 degree panorama of the location where the pin is dropped. Tap and drag to scroll the view around. Pinch and spread your fingers to zoom in and out. You can tell which direction you're viewing on the map by the highlighted segment in the small mini map at the bottom right corner. You can move along streets by tapping on the arrows in the direction you would like to move. When you've finished looking at the street view for this location, tap on the circular mini-map to return to the regular map view. Once you've got the map showing an area you're interested in, you can search for businesses simply by typing keywords in the search box. For example, try typing Chinese to see all the Chinese restaurants in that area. Pins will be dropped at all the locations with Chinese food. You can then tap on the I button on the pin to find out the exact address and phone number for the business. You can do similar searches for pretty much whatever you're looking for. Pharmacies, bookstores, Indian food, car dealers. The options are endless and it's very handy when you're traveling in a new city and trying to find a supermarket or restaurant to eat at. In addition to finding a location, the Maps app can help you get from point A to B with directions for car, bus and walking. If you have the 3G variety of the iPad that has GPS, or are on a Wi-Fi network that Google has mapped, the current location will be filled in for you. If not, tap in the left Current Location box and manually type in your location. To set your destination, type the address into the Destination box to the right and tap on the Search button. Once again, try and use the format Street, City, State for both current and end locations. The Maps app will now display a summary of the route it recommends you take.
You can choose between recommendations for car driving directions, bus routes or walking directions by tapping on one of the corresponding icons on the blue summary bar. The summary bar also tells you how long it thinks the journey will take using the selected transportation method. With your method selected, tap on the start button to begin your journey. The Maps app will now zoom down to the first part of your journey. To see the next part of the trip, tap on the white right arrow button. Tap on the left arrow button to move back a step in the journey. The Maps app doesn't have turn-by-turn -turn spoken instructions. If you would like that, you should look into one of the third-party apps such as TomTom. The third-party apps also have the advantage of not requiring an active internet connection as their maps are stored locally on the iPad rather than downloading them from the internet on demand like the Maps app does. This does mean that you won't be able to use the Maps app with a Wi-Fi only iPad unless you're connected to a Wi-Fi access point. Similarly, with the 3G variety of the iPad, you'll need to be within 3G cell phone range for the Maps app to be able to work.